into our next very interesting and I am eagerly waiting for this one. So the year 2021 started off on a right foot for India's leading social media unicorn, ShareChat. That's right, our partner as well. The platform successfully captured the attention of users across all tiers in India and witnessed a monumental growth with 160 million monthly active users in just one year. Banking on India's lingual diversity, ShareChat launched India's most loved language first social media platform that currently includes about 15 languages, thereby accommodating the varying population of India. The brand also owns March, a short video entertainment app that garnered about 120 million active users in less than just about a year, thus uniting the Indian millennials and Gen Zs on one platform. Telling us more is our next speaker, an accomplished global media leader known for his business centricity and digital excellence. Please welcome Mr. Ajit Varghese, Chief Commercial Officer, Share Chat and March, in conversation with our Assistant Editor for Exchange for Media, Tasmay Laharoy. On the topic, Namaste, Wanekam, Game Show, how our brand love and language is connected. Over to you, Tasmay, and I can't wait for this one. Thank you, Mitin. Thank you. Thanks uh, for the introduction. Uh, hi, Ajit. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in this uh, conversation. I was confused whether to start with Namaste, Game Show, or Varakam. So, yeah, thanks again uh, for joining us. So, uh, coming. Uh, thank you so much, and good afternoon to everybody. Right. So, you know, coming straight to the questions, uh, 2020 was a year of huge growth for your brand. You know, ShareChat and Moj put together, you, your user base uh, grew from 120 million to about uh, 280 million. So, you know, walk us uh, a little through what drove this growth and where did the maximum traction come from? I think, uh, Tasma, if you look at our journey, I think one of our biggest USPs for, and drivers for growth is our unique proposition and the focus with which we have done about launching the two apps, right? I mean, one is uh, one and not. It is for the language first customer. I think that uniqueness is something that India had not seen. Uh, while there were many as probably English dominated or also having languages, but I think our single-minded focus on language customers is the is is our journey and is our driver for our growth. So if you if you if you take that out and now look at our journey into three phases, right? We started off as an easy to share format, right? People wanted to share stuff that they could discover, and and okay. mostly in the dark social because not in the mainland English dominated world, but more in the uh, other space and that they could share it with friends on WhatsApp or any other dark social medium that right. they could, right? And this soon became uh, popular because it was an in inherent need in the consumer world across the 90% of the population of India. Right. And that, therefore, it, we had to quickly develop into a feed-based feed -based ecosystem where people could come back and discover more such content and share more su such stuff, right? And, and therefore, it became very important for the for us to actually you know understand the psyche of the consumer and track that code like whether it's on the ux whether it's on the text whether it's on the words uh, the type of shares even the type of colors on the and the formats in the in the app right and last but not the least the speed and accessibility in a relatively low internet population or a low internet bandwidth population right i think that that became the first phase of that growth right but soon as, as, as we started getting more and more users, we realized there are so many different types of users which are coming across so many languages of India. Their tastes are different, their, their shares are different. And therefore the, the whole ecosystem's dependence on personalization became very key. And that to me is the, is the single minded second phase of our growth, which is the artificial intelligence, which leads to the personalization, right? both at, at, in the content discovery phase or in the product phase. I think that that backed by the artificial intelligence and machine learning is the real engine for our, our growth if you look at that success over the last one, two years, right? Wow. Last not, but, but not the least, if you look at our third important aspect, which unfortunately happened during lockdown, a uh, very unfortunate incident to have a lockdown, but it also started giving us new nuances that during lockdown, the innate hunger of our consumers to get into, you know, get different types of entertainment. Right. And especially in the short video space, because 
you know consumer attention span is pretty low uh, there there you know they want entertainment uh, the world's entertainment at their fingertips uh, mm-hmm. and that innate need made us launch uh, moj within 48 hours because we had all yes. these learnings about shared chat the ecosystem the ai all the discovery platform and the product uh, uh, the knowledge that we had we could launch moj in 48 hours and within within 9 to 10 months we are at a 120 million uh, user number uh, and probably you can show the slide there uh, across and across both the apps today we are at 280 million uh, profiles across both the apps so that to me is 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 the journey that we had and the, and obviously the journey is still on absolutely that that's very interesting you know also since we spoke so much about uh, reach ajit which uh, with reach also comes brand interest right so, and we see so many brands on uh, share chat uh, tell us a little bit about what are the kinds of brands that you're working with and what is the kind of reach and access that they enjoy on your platform so if you look at 2020 with the with the success of last year there were a lot of early starters who became in early brands adopters who came, who came came into the ecosystem and these were wanting to test these brands were trying to test the you know what what is the language customer how what right. whether we get the reach so the numbers were never a confusion but it's about who how are we reaching it what are the interaction points what are the metrics that we are evaluating how is this consumer very different from uh, the what we are used to in the english dominated digital ecosystem right so that was the testing phase in the last, uh, especially in the second half of the year. Right. So what we have seen this year is more continuity. We see big brands, uh, a plethora of brands, at least 50 to 70 brands are now continuous clients. They are not guys who are coming in for one month and going away next month. So we, are, we have seen that journey now becoming more continuous. That's we have right. now seen our performance e- performance ads and the perform- performance ecosystem growing into a, at least 30% of our business. Mm-hmm. If I were to take some examples of the brands, you can probably show the slide there. Uh, we we are also trying up new new and new and new formats uh, formats for the uh, formats for the different uh, brands and clients. So if you look at the success of if you look at the success in the last three to six months. It's it's actually language. Obviously, is a is a is the first yes. success story, and second is obviously the innovative formats and and the kind of interactive points that we generate in our ecosystem. If you look at uh, Fanta, that we hashtag that we did, it's, it's it's the first time that we are doing a hashtag in Moj in the last one year, and uh, very using a very customized uh, filter and very using an occasion like Holi to create some kind of uh, you know happiness and celebration especially with the pandemic, you know, coming out of the pand- first phase of pandemic. And that immediately generated almost 625 million views. I mean, now yeah. that was a big success story for us because now it gives us the confidence that we can talk about half a billion and one billion number, numbers as we go along. So that, again, is a great, a great case study for, you know, how brands can use uh, our ecosystem. There are many other formats like you know if you look at Flipkart and Mintra using different innovative formats whether it's whether it's interactive formats where you can use customer taste mm-hmm. and brand content together and and customize it in a dynamic way so that yeah. user interest and user response can actually be better looking at that type of a format versus compared to a static format or a video format. Uh, even even you know sometimes when there is a sales offer or a co- or a coupon code. We created a spin the wheel contest to, you know, consumers have to make an interaction on the spin the wheel and depend on what the wheel stops at and you get the promotion code. This is, this is that. Right. Uh, we even have case studies like, you know, Amphi, which is a mutual fund uh, body, mm-hmm. use almost six to eight languages across our ecosystem to create that connection in a performance side. So it is a performance ad, but not in the regular English or one language. They use different languages to make sure that the response rate. And all of these metrics, when we see across last two or six months, we are so confident that this can only grow from here. Mm -hmm. Great, great. so Ajit, you know, you spoke of so many interesting things. Uh, you spoke about how you uh, launched Moj overnight, and then you spoke about the huge reach, so many handling, so many brands. So, you know, how prepared are you with your ad tech capabilities to address this uh, surge in uh, brand interest? See, if, if I look at, um, the, uh, before I talk the tech and the ad tech, if you look at our, our single biggest USP, as I already mentioned, it's our artificial intelligence ecosystem platform, right? Okay. And, and to me, 
are that's our single biggest usp and that's the life that's the fuel now we need to keep building this ecosystem based on artificial intelligence and we uh, because that is i mean it's almost like matchmaking there are hundreds and millions of pieces of content being generated there are hundreds and millions of signals that consumers give you uh, and we are trying to do the matchmaking we are trying to do the matchmaking between consumer interest and the content discovery especially especially the long tail of like long tail of content right so to me that is the key of key to the all the technology capabilities that we have now if i look at therefore what are the kind of ad tech capability that we have and we are building uh, i would essentially bucket it into four four big big buckets one is on the you know the roi bit which is how do i make sure that there is better return on ad spend second is on the trust and transparency bit where brands can know that what are the metrics they are coming for are they delivering it uh, uh, and and what kind of measurement metrics are there and the third big uh, part is the is the kind of tools that we can generate for either uh, you know a better reach or or better targeting variables mm-hmm. last but not the least is the influencer marketing ecosystem so let me just touch upon each of these i mean when when i look at return on ad spend we are looking at both ends of the funnel one is one funnel is you know how do we create more brand love right with, with the with the kind of formats that we have how do we keep getting into newer innovative formats or high impact high impact properties like the hashtag that we saw or filters or even uh, even some of these uh, you know new formats that we just introduced on app entry entry ads how do we generate this use this to generate unique experiences with our customers and and create more brand love or high, you know our preference or any other metric that branding and brand marketers want to create and at the same time we also want to look at the other end of the funnel the deeper side of the funnel which is how can our ai engine fuel this whole conversion between advertiser and marketers objective into more deeper funnel metrics like whether it's registration whether it's clicks uh whether it's installs or any other, any other conversion metrics and therefore give them at a and all this achieved at a reasonable cost so that it can be business building for them mm-hmm. so to one end of the ad tech is all about the return of spend the second second part would be more about trust and transparency i think a lot of uh, i mean we are now programmatic enabled we are making sure that we are integrated with all third party tools like whether it's moat or mmps or double verify or nielsen etc so that's ensuring that there is a enough amount of third party verifications that we have in our ad serving capabilities we are also creating more kind of dashboards in terms of deep analytics on promotions and metrics that, that brands can get so that's again that again again all this is being done to build more trust that we are in a in a, in a place where we can get return on income and it's a fair, and it's a fair marketplace absolutely what is the uh, yes sorry that's me you were saying something No, no. I I interrupted. Please continue. Yes. Right. The third part is the audience tools, right? I mean, I know even today, for example, a lot of brands or uh, clients want to target demographics or geographical. I think we are now trying to look at generating uh, new tools which can actually have new targeting variables like whether it's content interest or in-app behavior or for better campaign performance and 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 better campaign planning. So there are a lot of investments are going on looking at audience insights. more in the interest and behavior rather than just uh, the variables that we have all been used to in the in the past uh, we also are uh, de- uh, developing the new um, uh, platform which is so that we can use today we have share chat and moj around 120 uh, around 160 million and 120 million 280 million of us how can we use the unified audience network to make sure that we can make the bang for the buck better for our clients so that's something that we are Yeah, again, investing on, and we have recently launched the platform uh, ShareChat Ads, so that we can then use that for the unified audience uh, ecosystem. Last but not the least is the influencer marketing place. I think. Yes. I think I think we know that you know if you look at short video space and the apps that we operate, we mm-hmm. are a we are a creator place and we are an influencer yes. influencer marketplace. We are now trying to see whether we can create an influencer marketing eco space. where we can use them to lend their voice to build brands uh, especially to the audiences the the language first audiences which was which was almost like a ignored uh, uh, you know population of india uh, by the by the dominant or the global uh, players uh, english dominated players right so that ecosystem is something that we are building and we want to own that space and we want to be the biggest player in that space 
some of the new right. things that we are also looking at is is the uh, is the video and live stream uh, commerce we don't have it now we, uh -huh. we have we have the tech but we have not launched it because we want to be very con uh, confident one uh, uh, how it works second is we will launch it at a time when we are confident that it can build scale because it, currently it's not a tick mark that you know we want to do that we, we have these capabilities we want to come at, at a time when we think that it is scalable and it can give you the return for bank uh, return on income right right perfect so there are so many new things and interesting things coming up from share chat you know uh, what is very important also for uh, any app like yours is monetization so you know tell us a little bit about your plans for monetization i mean that, that, this is the most tricky subject and tricky question that you can ask right yes monetization <laughs> i can do uh, and everybody everybody in media listens to only the valuation right and even yeah. valuation question we are most curious about yeah uh, I think we are still uh, in the startup phase. Uh, yes. I think we are backed by great investors who have put our trust on us. Uh, I definitely, as a and, and as a team leader for, and I represent the entire ShareChat team. Uh, we are aiming our first hundred million. Uh, we are in, in that journey of generating that first hundred million. Right. Uh, I think uh, the the question really is how quickly we can get there. And from my experience in the last four five months that I've been here. Uh, I think we can reach that faster than faster than what I initially thought when I could join. And I'm saying this with the confidence that I've seen in the last three, four months journey of how new formats have brought in new clients into our ecosystem, yes. uh, how our performance engine is picking up for better deeper funnel metrics. 30% uh, of my business today is, is performance business. So that mm -hmm. says a lot from compared to last year to this year. Right. Uh, we have an opportunity of merge opening up sales in the next quarter sometime okay uh, uh, that's that's adding up 120 million audiences more into our ecosystem uh, mm -hmm. we have just now launched uh, this uh, mid of middle of this month launch uh, this uh, the share chat ad platform which is right. to fuel up the growth of smb sector and i right. feel confident there because smbs will find this more useful because it is really talking to the indian audience in their language and that, that is what they really want to connect with the brand audience and build scale. So we feel confident that we are in that journey of generating that first 100 million pretty fast. And mm -hmm. then and who knows, then, then we can dream bigger. Absolutely. You know, a chat on millions can uh, go on for hours, but since we are short pressed for time, I have one last question for you, Ajit, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, 2020 was a year of unprecedented growth for your brand, for your platforms. So do you foresee that kind of uh, growth also in 2021? And lastly, uh, for this year, what are your key focus areas? Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, I, I don't know whether, uh, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of us would have heard our co-founders talking about, we want to reach the 1 billion number, a uh, number of users, right? Okay. So uh, we, we still are at a 25% number there, right? So we, I mean, we can say it's unprecedented, but we, we, we would continue to focus to drive that user growth and reach a half a billion number as soon as possible. Now, whether it takes 12 months or 18 months, we are, but we are in that journey to reach that half a billion number pretty soon. Right. And then take, uh, take a larger window to reach that 1 billion number. Uh, uh, so the user growth and user retention uh, is, is pro will, will continue to be our primary focus uh, uh, at the top end. Uh -huh. Obviously, the second part is the, is the uh, we already spoke about the artificial intelligence ecosystem. I think that's absolutely key. That's fuel to our ecosystem. Everything that we do remaining is actually powered by that. And therefore, we'll continue to invest, learn, unlearn, learn, unlearn. And that's a going to be a continuous process, both in the content and user ecosystem and in the ad ecosystem. So because right. it's the same engine which works, right? And Absolutely. last but not the least, I think our super focus, uh, we are a pretty young thousand people organization today. I think yes. one of our primary focus into the future would be to invest in talent because mm -hmm. we, we our ambitions are big and we, we definitely want to be the largest uh, AI powered platform based mm -hmm. out of India. And right. so we need to invest in key talent uh, and, and the people who have built this ecosystem so far to continue to feel passionate, learn the ecosystem more, drive that dream and potential to reach its, uh, uh, reach its end. So talent is something that is absolutely key for us in, in going forward in 21, 22 and ahead. Right, right. 
Thank you so much for that interesting uh, chat, Ajit. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we'll have a short video by Share Chat after this. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot.